Darkness has fallen upon Tristram. And by darkness, I mean darkness. Like, it's night time. It's dark. People are sleeping and shit. That's what I'm talking about. But we aren't. We're here to talk about the monk class. And not just the monk class. This is the brand new Patterns of Justice Tempest Rush build for the monk. And it is super fast. So, there's a few things we can do with the Patterns of Justice. You can either do a speed build uh, for speed farming. Which is ideal for all your rifting bounties. Everything, everything is going to be taken care of here by your favorite creepy uncle, your head banging hero, the Ayatollah of Rock and Roller. This guy right here who's feeling really energetic. Maybe because it's holidays and I'm not working. I don't know. Either way, I feel good and I feel like doing videos. So, Patterns of Justice, I'll be talking about, I'll be covering off the speed farming version of Patterns of Justice and. The GR pushing build is very similar as well. There's only a few changes. Obviously, we're choosing certain skills, abilities, and items that are going to increase our movement speed for this. And this is awesome for Nephilim Rift Farming. Awesome for Greater Rift Farming. If you just if you want to like level up jams and you're farming lower level Greater Rifts, not so good if you're pushing higher level Greater Rifts. Definitely have to do some changes there for higher level GR pushing. But I'll cover that off in another video. It'll just be too much to cover in one and everyone's heads will be spinning. So let's just go with the first one. Let's just go with the speed farming. The most fun, I believe. So let's start off with the skills that we're using. Tempest Rush with Electric Field. And again, there's so many variations you can go with with this. Just, just you know, do your own testing. Sample a few different things here. Just try it for yourself. But I like Electric Field because I'm set up for Lightning Damage. You can, for even extra uh, movement speed, go for Tailwind here. But... With everything else that we've got happening, I don't think that I need Tailwind as well. But you definitely can try variations with Tailwind. We're using Sweeping Wind with Cyclone. Dashing Strike here with Way of the Falling Star. Epiphany with Desert Shroud. Blinding Flash, Faith in the Light, Mantra of Conviction with Annihilation. Again, this mantra will increase our movement speed. Now, very importantly, with Dashing Strike here, I've added that in, which and it's taken over Serenity. So if you find that you're taking a lot of damage and you're dying a lot, then use Serenity with Ascension and that will make you immune for all damage for three seconds and it'll extend it to like about five-ish, four, five-ish seconds with ascension. However, we're going to be killing everything so damn fast. I'm pretty happy with dashing strike. But if you find yourself taking a lot of damage, you can definitely swap that out, like I said, for ascension. The passives we're using, Relentless Assault, Momentum, Harmony, Beacon of Yitta. Don't worry too much if I'm going through too quick and you don't want to keep re-watching and pausing bits of the video. I will have the actual build linked in the description below, so check that out as well. And that way you can see the written version, not just me talking about it. And let's go into the gear. So very importantly, so the Tempest, the Tempest, the Patterns of Justice set items that we're using are the helm, the chest here, the shoulders, the gloves, and the pants. And we're also using Captain Crimson's belt here together with Captain Crimson's boots. So with Captain Crimson's, again, we've got Ring of Royal Grandeur equipped in Can Ice Cube. So we get the two set bonuses and the three set bonuses for Captain Crimson's. Crimson's. And this has been buffed in the latest patch. So for two pieces, it regenerates 6,000 life per second, reduces cooldown of all skills by 20%, reduces all resource costs by 20%. And I use Captain Crim Crimson's on my Demon Hunter multi-shot as well. It goes goes pretty pretty nicely with my Demon Hunter as well. For three pieces, damage dealt is increased by your percentage of cooldown reduction. And damage taken is reduced by a percentage of cost reduction. So obviously with the more cooldown reduction we have, we already have 20% from the, art from the actual Captain Crimson's themselves. We keep generating more and more damage. And because this is quite a cooldown reduction heavy build we rely on cooldown reduction a fair bit as you can see most of my items do come with cooldown reduction of all skills so it's definitely very much needed for this build not everything has it obviously but we've got enough right now definitely want to try and put cooldown reduction 
wherever you can and definitely when you're running pretty comfortable as soon as you can kind of have epiphany active 100 percent of the time then you're doing pretty well so they're the two different sets we have we've got the flavor of time amulet we're using caesar's memento the rings we're using obsidian ring of the zodiac and convention of elements again if you're struggling with damage and you're dying you can try use unity as well so there's a few variations you can go with here not just with your skills but also with your items that you have equipped uh, the weapons, very, very importantly, Vengeful Wind. I've got a nice Primal Juicy, Primal Juicy, Juicy Primal Ancient there. Increases maximum stack of our Sweeping Wind by 7%. I'll go through the Patterns of Justice uh, set bonuses in a second. And one Quim Lao, Hitting Tempest Rush will activate Cyclone Strike. And both skills deal 559 increased percent damage. 559 percent increased damage. Now, Patterns of Justice... I should have went through first. For two pieces, Sweeping Wind gains the effect of every rune and movement speed is increased by 5% for each, act, for each stack of Sweeping Wind. We're going to have a maximum of 10. So that's already 50% movement speed increasing just from Sweeping Wind alone. So as you can imagine, we're going to be moving fast, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be moving super fast. For four paces, attacking with Tempest Rush reduces your damage taken by 50% and increases Spirit Regeneration by 50 not too shabby as well. For six pieces, hitting with Tempest Rush while Sweeping Wind is active, increases the size of Sweeping Wind and also increases all damage dealt by 15,000 per cent. So huge damage increase there and also increases the actual size of Sweeping Wind. So the area of effect is also going to be uh, a lot greater as well. The gems we're using, so I'm using the diamond gem for my helm here. Again, increasing the cooldown reduction. All the rest, we're using emerald dexterity gems, including emerald gems for our weapons, which will increase our critical hit damage. As you can see, 130%, 130%. The gems that we're using in our jewelry are the Bane of the Trapped, Gorgok, Wraith of Lightning, sorry, not Gorgok of Swiftness, Wraith of Lightning. Uh, you can use Gorgok of Swiftness as well, but I find that you know, usually using just one of these is probably beneficial enough. And Taeguk. But like I said, it's up to yourself just to experiment and give things a go. You can definitely try and, you know, exchange Taeguk for like a Gorgok of Swiftness. Or Gorgok of Swiftness if you want to. My God, it's a tongue twister. But I'm using the Wreath of Lightning, which definitely increases our movement speed as well. Again, 25% while under the effect of the Wreath of Lightning. So we're going to be moving so damn fast. Let's have a look at Canice Cube real quick. We're using Balance in the Weapon Slot, Armor, Lefebvre Silicoi, and Jewelry, Ring of Royal Grandeur. Again, because we have five pieces of the... Justice set or the patterns of justice set equipped and two pieces of the Captain Crimson's uh, the Captain Crimson's crap Captain Crimson's sorry I can't talk today but uh, the Ring of Royal Grandeur allows us to benefit from having one set item less from both sets but we get the full effect of the full set bonuses so for two pieces we get the three full set bonus and for five pieces of POJ we get the full six set bonus there which is active so pretty awesome stuff right there paragon points you want to make sure that your movement speed is capped at 25 percent i've got 12 percent on my items 13 percent in here equals 25 percent maximum everything else in dexterity with offense you definitely want to go cooldown reduction first with a build with this type of build and then just split things evenly between crit chance critical hit chance critical hit damage and then everything else into attack speed in that order with defense go resist all armor life life regen that's usually the way with that anyway with utility you want to go with area damage resource cost reduction life per hit and gold find we're not going to struggle with resource resource costs here at all we're going to be flying through pretty well but as you can see i'm fully capped out but if you're not just you know put your invest your paragon points in that order and now it is time so without doing an example here i'm just going to go in do a nephilim rift run for y'all and uh that'll end this build guide that's i think i've covered off everything i always remember something once i've left so 
Invest in cooldown reduction. Obviously, like dexterity, a primary attribute there. And then you want resistance to all elements, critical hit chance, critical hit damage wherever possible, and resource. Uh, uh, sorry, resource. Reduce cooldown cost of your skills. Cooldown of all skills. Sorry, not resource. Don't about resource. And I think that pretty much covers off everything. Let's go on, do an example together. I love you all. Thank you all for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Click that notification bell. That way, every time I upload something new, you will be notified. Your dear old uncle loves you all. Thank you all for coming in and visiting as always. Cannot wait till we can be friends for all eternity. Let's go do a Nephilim run together. Love you all. Okay, my beautiful people. I was hoping for a bit of an outdoorsy map. Looks like we got one. Ah, yeah, this one. We gotta go up here. Should be plenty of stuff to kill. And it, look, look how quick we're going. Seriously. I think with dashing strike, it really adds to the build. You just gotta be very careful when you're picking up stuff. Uh, right now, I'm just wanting my death's breath, really. And if I see the, uh, if I'm lucky enough for, my, for a primal ancient to drop, I'll be picking that up as well. But I'll probably, I'll probably ignore most of the legendary drops right now. I'll pick them all up later. I'll just show y'all how quick you can do this if you want to. I was doing a lot of experimenting and testing before without dashing strike and I really like dashing strike. It does make you a lot more squishy, but if you've got the paragon points, if you've got some the good good items as well, some reasonable reasonably good items, then there's really no reason why you can't give up uh, serenity with ascension. It's a bit of a dark map, I'm sorry if it comes out dark on your end. I just recently reinstalled Windows and I think I forgot to increase the brightness in Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls. I always do that before I record and because I started off fresh from scratch, had some issues with Windows. Uh, right now it's just it's running so much better. I'm, I'm so glad that I actually did that. Yeah, it was, it's just, as anyone know, all of you that have done that before, reset Windows or restarted Windows, reinstalled Windows, whatever, you know that it's a bit of a pain in the ass because you've got to like reinstall everything. Everything has a password now and you forget what your passwords are. you got to like reset passwords. It's just been a pain in the ass. You pretty much lose a day resetting everything up, but it was worth it. My computer's running so good at the moment. And as I'm sitting here blabbing, we've almost completed this uh, <laughs> Nephilim Rift already. Like you can see, man, the build, it speaks for itself. Very, very fast. Not a damn problem. Super fast, super efficient. That is the build. Don't forget to check out the written version in the description below. That way you don't have to like try and memorize everything that I've gone through or you know, pause the video and listen to bits and pieces. That'll be very annoying. So your dear old creepy uncle will make things very easy for everyone. Description down below. That way you can open up the build yourself. I love you all. Thank you all for tuning in. Like I mentioned, if you have, if you want to show your support to the creepy one right here, this guy right here, don't forget to subscribe. Otherwise, just come back and visit any damn time. Love you all. See you again real soon.